Hi, I'm Joanne Banco. I'm an author, a designer, and a sewing educator. And today I'm here to show you some fashions from the 40s. We're going to talk a little bit about the style of that era and how you can embellish your own 40s style fashions or contemporary garments with some applique lace. So let's take a look over here at the um, garments on the, on the dress forms. And the first one you see is this dress. This dress actually represents a 1940s pattern. It's um, created from an original um, 1940s vintage pattern. And what you see about this era is that form started to become more fitted, more feminine, and really flattered the female curves. If you take a look at the um, slip next to it, which is really the focus of, of this um, technique we're gonna show today, you see some beautiful applique lace. You see a very shimmering, soft, silky fabric. And in the 40s, fashions were very much about glamour and style. And a lot of the um, loungewear and lingerie and um, under things that women were wearing were made from very silky, shimmery type fabrics. Mostly silk back then, but today we work with a lot of synthetics. This is actually um, a, one of my favorite fabrics. It's crepe back satin. It is totally synthetic, completely washable, yet it really mimics that beautiful look of silk that we all love and it feels so nice on. If you take a look at the pajamas, those are also made from crepe back satin. And you know, when you um, check out the website instructions for this show, you're gonna find a lot of tips and techniques, including a link for a free tip sheet for learning how to sew with that crepe back satin. That'll help you a lot when you come to do your projects. The pajamas feature lace appliques at the neck and then lace trimming at the hemline. And then the camisole that um, is uh, matched to those ready to wear pajama pants, that also features a lace applique. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Are you ready? Let's make lace. I wanna start out by showing you some very simple supplies that you're gonna need for lace making. First of all, obviously you need a lacy style design. And I brought a couple examples here to show you. One, of course, I've used already on the lingerie, but I brought another one because you'll find lace in two forms when you find embroidery designs um, that are designed for freestanding lace. They will have a satin edging, possibly all around the outside, or in the case of what I used on the slip, that did not come with a lace edging completely around the outside. That only partially had that um, edging. And what we want to do is we want to create a satin edge around the entire piece of lace. So. Choose your lace design carefully, and then follow the rest of the method that I show here, and it'll work for you. By the way, we're gonna um, provide a download for a couple free designs for you to try out as well. So let's take a look at supplies. Of course, we need our embroidery machine, but we don't need um, anything um, you know, too special as far as supplies. We need simple bridal tool or netting. And it's very important that you choose the right type for this because netting comes in a variety of different forms. Some of it is very stiff and you don't want that because you don't want a real heavy effect. So look for the bridal tool. One of the great advantages you'll find with bridal tool is very often it coordinates with a luxury fabric in the same department that you'd be shopping in. So check for something. If it's um, close in color, you're gonna see that your finished lace will almost float on the fabric. That creates a beautiful look. But of course you can create a contrasting look as well, whatever you prefer. So, simple supplies. You've got netting and then you've got water-soluble stabilizer. And this is very important because you wanna choose what we call the fibrous type. This has a lot of body and we're going to sandwich our two layers of netting between one layer of water-soluble on the top and one layer of water-soluble on the bottom. So, you can see I've already got that done, already got that hooped and we're ready to stitch. Now all we need to do is create our design. Remember, I said there's two types of designs. There are designs that already have a finished satin edge, and then the one we're working with today that doesn't have a completely finished edge, we're gonna create that at the machine. Couple options for that. There's a software program that allows you to do that as well, which means you can do it on a variety of different models. We've got that capability built right into this machine. So let's go make lace. We're gonna select our lacy design. 
from our USB media. You can see it on the screen. We're going to touch set. We're going to touch sewing. And we have one more very quick button to push, and that is um, the button that creates a satin outline. If you take a close look at the screen here, you're going to see the actual steps for stitching. We've got our first step, which is the lace embroidery design, and then two more steps are a simple straight stitch outline, and our final step is the satin stitch. Now, when we create lace, we're embroidering something a little bit different than our standard embroidery designs. So we want to think about a couple things as far as machine setup. First of all, we're going to thread the top and the bobbin with matching thread. Normal embroidery, we use a different type of thread in the bobbin. For lace making, we want it to match. If you take a look at one of my finished pieces of lace, you'll see it's as looks almost identical on the back side as it does on the front side. So we're going to get that look from matching thread. We've got the um, machine already set up with the hoop and in order to create a smooth look on the back side we're going to turn off our normal jump cutting and then we're going to start by taking the very first stitch, advance to the first stitch, I'm going to reach over here, hold my needle thread, send the needle down, send it up, give a little tug. Sometimes it takes a couple stitches to bring that bobbin thread up. Pull that tail, lower the presser foot. Oh, we gotta get that hoop all the way on. You know, your machines are very smart today. They keep you from making any mistakes. When you have a green light, that's when you're good to go. So we're going to just take those first few stitches. I would then stop and clip that thread tail. Get rid of all those messy threads so they don't get in my way. Okay, and start that machine back up. All right, if you look, this um, design would actually take about 15 minutes to stitch. So we're going to give it just a, just a few seconds there to start. And I want to tell you a little bit about the um, pattern that I have here, because I mentioned on the dress that we've got a vintage pattern. But if you take a look at the, at the slip, I want you to know that there are many reproduction patterns available today. So the pattern that I used for the slip actually is a brand new pattern sized for today's measurements but in the styling of a 40s style fashion. That makes it easy to sew and easy to work with. All right, you can see that lace design forming. We're gonna go ahead and stop that. And I've got one that's already finished for you. So let me reach over here and pick this one up and show you how it finishes. You can see the entire design is stitched out on two layers of netting, water soluble on the top and the bottom. So when we're finished, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to have a piece of lace with the water soluble surrounding it. And our next task is going to be to take our curved tip scissors. I'm going to pick this back up. We would very carefully snip into there and cut away all of that excess. When we're finished, we would have a piece of lace that looks just like that. Very simple matter now of washing that out and getting rid of that water soluble and then attaching it to any one of these beautiful garments, whether it's a slip, contemporary, a purchase camisole that you're adding to, ready-made pajama pants. You can easily take vintage looking lace made by machine, quick and easy, and place it on any garment you like, ready-made, or custom crafted and get that beautiful, gorgeous, vintage 40s look.